Hi folks, Mario with Silver Lungs. A big topic I know my channel viewers would love to hear discussed is what is nano silver. I hope I don't disappoint anyone with an overly simplistic answer or a lack of pizzazz, but nano silver is nothing more than the latest marketing term for colloidal silver. Colloidal silver has become so generic that the silver solution manufacturers have had to create new marketing terms just to imply that their silver solution is different than basic ionic silver, for example. Yet after close examination, ionic silver is what most silver solutions sold today actually are and always have been. Unfortunately, this common practice in the silver solution industry has greatly misled and confused the general consumer. Nano silver is touted as a new type of silver and implies that colloidal silver is now becoming a thing of the past. Nothing could be further from the truth when looking closer. The term nano is just an abbreviation for the word nanometer, which is the standard unit of measure used to describe the size of very small silver species in solution. I say species as there are numerous types of silver solutions available today and I'll discuss the other various types in a following video. After all the hype concerning this new nano silver, you'll probably find it funny that there isn't a single brand or type of silver solution that's not nano silver. Nano again simply implies the unit of measure called a nanometer and all current silver solutions sold today qualify as nano silver. We often hear of nanotechnology, which loosely means technology that's small enough to be measured in nanometers, as this is the best suited unit of measure like measuring a football field in yards rather than inches. Whether a silver solution is ionic silver, colloidal silver, silver oxide, protein silver, citrate silver, or even fulvate silver, all these silver types are measured in the nanometer range, while there's absolutely nothing new except the continuing inventions of nonsense science associated with new products that claim to be the latest and greatest. When you hear someone touting nano silver as the new thing or something different and greatly improved, disregard it entirely. When I started Silver Lungs at the end of 2008, there were only about six well-known silver solution producers on the market. All of these silver solutions were called colloidal silver except for one company that termed their product as Silver Hydrosol. Hydrosol was probably the first attempt at getting away from the generic name of colloidal silver, but we still see new names coming into market daily. Names like Silversol, Nanosol, etc. The nanosilver term gained popularity during the Ebola outbreak of 2014 when a 2008 Department of Defense DOD study became declassified in 2009 and was widespread throughout the internet media. The study showed that silver nanoparticles smaller than 10 nanometers in diameter were highly, if not entirely, effective against neutralizing the greatly feared Ebola virus. Almost immediately, the World Health Organization blocked shipments of silver supplements coming into Africa as this would have looked really bad for the pharmaceutical companies that were said to be, quote-unquote, desperately in search of an antidote. This would have been a massive moneymaker for Big Pharma had Ebola been as bad an outbreak as it was feared and projected. At that time in Africa, if there were growing cases and news of successful use of such a simple over-the-counter silver supplement, this would have informed the world that there was already a demonstrated protocol for countering this virus, and it would have exposed the pharmaceuticals for pretending to be ignorant of our own government silver nanoparticle study from 2008. The study was already five years in circulation and was publicly known well enough that it caused a mega consumer panic to buy silver solutions and colloidal silver generators. Silver Lungs and most other colloidal silver generator companies went into a considerable backorder status and simply couldn't produce enough colloidal silver generators to keep up with the demand. The DOD study, if you haven't read it, is entitled Silver Nanoparticle Neutralization of Hemorrhagic Fever Viruses. It can still be found on various websites, even some governmental sites as well. Many people in the scientific field reviewed the study and most agreed it was valid and properly conducted. Efforts to discredit the study as a hoax were attempted, but all eventually failed. Now, when we continue looking back at how the term nanosilver propagated the internet so aggressively during that time, we find that one particular silver solution producer read this DOD study, saw that key term nanosilver used, and decided to use that very term as the actual name for their particular silver solution. This producer even circulated another version of the DOD study with a page of their own superimposed at the end to make it look like they were actually affiliated with the DOD project. Their publicity campaign implied that their silver solution was comprised of pure silver nanoparticles, smaller than 10 nanometers in size, making it appear exactly what the study had concluded was so efficacious against Ebola. 
In truth, their solution was tested and found to be nothing more than common ionic silver with traces of silver oxide, not the particle-based silver product tested in the DOD study. Things like this are common in the silver supplement market for one simple reason. There is absolutely no regulation, enforcement, or accountability required. The manufacture of silver solutions has become one of the biggest pseudoscience markets known, or perhaps I should say, unknown to most. The silver solutions market falls under the Dietary Supplement Act of 1994, and claims made by manufacturers do not have to be scientifically substantiated. Only the ingredients and a suggested dosage is required. The only regulation of claims that the FDA will enforce are medical benefit claims, and these are heavily restricted. Currently, only FDA-approved drugs can legally make medical claims of benefit. Now, back to the topic of pseudoscience, here are some of the claims I've collected over the years from some of the more popular silver solution companies, of which many can still be found on the internet today. Number one, our silver solution possesses a 528 hertz love energy. Number two, our solution contains water encapsulated silver particles. Make note that silver and water do not form any kind of bond. This is just a made up science claim. Number three, claims of a special silver atom with two electrons removed rather than regular ionic silver, which only has one electron removed, allows for twice the damage to a pathogen. Further statements of a machine gun effect from this special silver atom are described as it can also recharge itself. In this particular case, I exchanged emails with the owner of this company shortly after he went public on a popular alternative media radio show. After our email exchange, the statements were removed and extensively revised. Number four, our silver solution is comprised of silver particles so small, they now act as a silver gas. Number five, a TEM microscope image showing what's claimed to be a special silver particle encased in a 900 terahertz UV radiating frequency, and these special particles are also magically circled by free orbiting electrons. Just so you know, electrons don't orbit metal particles in any realm of physics, and TEM microscopes do not image or capture radiation or frequencies of any kind. The image shown was simply photo edited and falsely presented as the actual science behind their product. In summary, your goal as a silver supplement consumer should be to learn the truth about the products you're buying. Let me also mention that if you do consume and rely on silver supplements regularly, you may want to consider making your own silver solutions at home, which gives you full control over water source, silver concentrations produced, particle sizes, and the type of silver made, not to mention the cost, just pennies per liter. With the Silver Lungs Generator, you can easily produce pure, high-quality ionic and colloidal silver solutions right from home, where you can finally break your dependence on silver solution manufacturers and their sometimes far-reaching claims. Keep an eye out for more videos coming soon with further discussions and explanations concerning the big world of colloidal silver. Thanks for watching.